In this video, let's talk about how you can check the date of purchase of your iPhone or pretty much any other Apple device that you are currently using. And I can think of two instances or two ways how this can be very useful. The first one is for your personal use, like for example, of course, when uh, you forget when you bought that device. But more importantly is when you're buying a used one. And this is kind of tricky because you have to pay attention to what's really going on and some people want to scam you and stuff. So it's a good idea to know when you bought a device and when the device is actually being purchased, whether by you or by someone else. So there are two categories of iPhones, those that are covered by warranty and those that are not. And in terms of the newer devices, those definitely should be And For those, what you can do is to go ahead and go to the settings and then go to the general section. After that, you're going to scroll and I mean, you don't even have to scroll. You go to the about section and then you will scroll down to see the limited warranty. So you're going to click it to make more information pop up and there you should see that your device is covered by the limited warranty. The coverage is usually valid for 12 months, which is one year from the date of purchase. So in order to have the date of purchase, just go one year back and you know when the device has been bought. This is quick and easy way how you can take a look at it without any bigger problems or complications. However, if you are buying a device which is older than one year or is simply not covered by this warranty for you to see that information, you're going to have to take a different route. By the way, guys, if you're new on this channel, I talk about videos like these and talk about stuff in videos like this all the time. So make sure to stay tuned by subscribing and make sure you never miss future uploads and future videos. So the next way to check the date of purchase is going the official Apple route and that is signing in with your Apple ID to that device and then taking a look at Apple's page when the device has been purchased, the serial number and stuff like that. So once you are logged in with your Apple ID on a device that you would like to check the date of purchase of, what you have to do is to go to this website. The link can be found in the description, of course, is the Apple's My Support website. And there you will again have to log in with your Apple ID and your password that you're using. If you are using Safari, which is Apple's web browser, on your Apple ID device, then you can log in with just your password of your phone, Face ID or Touch ID. Once you're in, you should be able to see all of your Apple devices linked to that Apple ID, of course. And if you don't see that, just click on My Devices section. So select the device that you would like to get the date of purchase of, and there you should be able to find the name of the device, uh, like the uh, numbers, the serial number, and of course, date of purchase on uh, the screen. So this is how it should work and how you should get it done. There's also another website that you can go for. It's uh, checkcoverage.apple.com. And there you can type in the serial number of a device, of Apple device, of course. And it's not going to tell you a lot, but at least it will tell you that it has a valid purchase date. So you know that it's a real device that has, has been used by some people. And it's not like a stolen something from a store or whatever. I mean, in, in that case, it definitely means that you can sign in to that device with your Apple ID and check all the information you would need. And there shouldn't be a problem with that. It also means that Apple in their system, they, they can see that this device is legit and that it has been purchased. They can see the history, the coverage and tracking and all of that. And it's a regular phone, which I think that also helps in case you you don't have anything else to go for like if you're buying a used device at least check this out if there is nothing else which you can do there are also some email checkers some online stuff which allows you to see some information when you type in your email but it's uh, i mean a lot of the websites ask you to pay for their services and a lot of them don't really work the way they should like you don't even know if you can trust that service and those information 
a lot of times it's really sketchy and it's full of ads. So I would just advise you to go with the official Apple way of doing things and checking stuff out. And most importantly, if you're buying a, like a device from uh, Craigslist or whatever, just make sure you're talking to trusted people and that you don't see anything sketchy in their behavior and you just get the overall picture if that device is good or not, if it's stolen or if it's been used uh, regularly and if it's a legit phone. So this is pretty much everything what I wanted to say. Like of course, if your device is your own, just go to the Apple's website, you will not have any problem with that whatsoever. Okay, but I'm finishing the video right now, I want to say thanks a lot for watching and your support. Thanks for sticking by all the way till the end. I really do appreciate it. And for more content like this, of course, you know what you're supposed to do. You can subscribe and you won't miss future uploads. I hope you have a great rest of the day and see you guys later.